Hey guys and gals, Mr. Rockstar here with Android Tech Heroes doing a quick app review on the app called Contacts Notification. Now that's Contacts with an S, not Contact. If you do enter uh, Contact um, in Google Play instead of Contacts, the app will be harder to find, so it's always easier to do it um, as the app is actually named. Uh, you want to go into Google Play and download it. After it's downloaded, it'll be in your, you know, your app drawer. Uh, you want to click on it. It's a little green app and it'll take you to this menu. Uh, it's a fairly simple menu uh, or fairly simple uh, app to use. There's no menu option. Uh, what you see is what you get. It's one page and what this basically allows you to do is put your contacts in your notification window like right here as you see. Uh, these will be pictures and you can just click on them and it'll dial a number or click on uh, the the person for quick access and it'll send a message. You can choose what you want it to do. Um, and there's four easy steps. The first one is you click what's con on the contact button what you want it to do. So I will uh, click on uh, customer care just for number purposes so that way you guys don't see my number. So I'll click on that number. And then the second step is what you want it to do. Whether you want it to call uh, call them or text them. And you'll have that right here. And I want it to dial them. Say it has more than one number in that contact, you can just keep it at menu and that way when you click on when you click on the um, the contact, it'll ask you who, uh, which number do you want to use and whether you want to call them or text them. But if you don't want to do that, you can you can actually tell it specifically what number to call or what um, number to text message. So let's just do uh, the first one to dial them. And then uh, you can do that with the rest of your contacts. And the second or the third step would be um, to update it. After you found out all of your contacts and what you want them to do, you hit update and you should feel a little vibration. And you need to update it every time you uh, switch a contact or every time you change um, what you want it to do, whether to dial them or text message them. And it'll, uh, you'll get a little vibration and you'll see them up here. And uh, the fourth step is the X's is to delete them. As you can tell, I just hit the X and it deletes the number. Um, I got to hit update to make sure that it deleted and it deleted. And there's a, a couple of notifications down here. Uh, this is to disable the app to completely to stop working. Um, these down here is uh, I have this one ticked. It says don't show notification icon and I'll show you what it does. And when you first open the app, it'll always have that little person up there in the left hand corner of your notification uh, window, your drop menu. And I don't like it there. So that's why I kind of just tick this and hit update and it'll, it'll disappear. Um, the second one says don't show toast. And uh, the third one is don't start at boo, which is pretty much self-explanatory. Um, fairly simple app, guys. Um, let me show you guys again so that it works. I can just do AT&T customer service. I want it to dial them. Let me update it. And I'll shut off my phone. I'm driving down the road. Need to call someone real quick. Oh, there's the notification. Sorry guys, and then I just hit it and it'll dial it, dial it immediately and you can see that it's dialing up here. Really cool. So really cool app guys. Um, I hope you guys enjoy the app. It's fairly simple to use. If you guys have any questions or concerns, just let me know and we'll get you squared away. Again, this is Android Tech Heroes, Mr. Rockstar here and we'll see you guys next time. Thanks.